fear not, for I am with thee. I will bring thy seed from the east and gather thee from the west. I will say to the north, Give up, and to the south, Keep not back. Bring my sons from far, and my daughters from the ends of the earth, even every one that is called by my name, for I have created him for my glory. I have formed him, yea, I have made him. The scriptures and the beast system confirm the original people that is made in the image of the Most High are the indigenous black people. The Bible confirmed Adam to be the first man and Eve to be the first woman. The scriptures does not give an account of other human hybrids outside of the seat of the watchers. Presently, the beast system is exposing human hybrids they discovered over the years. They cannot tell you where these hybrids come from. However, they are knowledgeable about other aspects of these hybrids' life. The workers of iniquity know the time period the hybrids dwell on earth. Through advanced technology, the workers of iniquity can produce images of the hybrids. Somehow, their origin remain a mystery. Israelites, the Most High said in the last days, knowledge would increase. If you want to know the truth, ask the Most High and he will reveal truth to you and tell you the things to come. Albeit when he, the spirit of truth, is come, he will guide you into all truth. For he shall not speak of himself, but whatsoever he shall hear, that shall he speak, and he will show you things to come. The workers of iniquity have a vast amount of data on the hybrids. When it comes to the indigenous black people, there are many doubts about who we are and where we come from. If the workers of iniquity can gather a large amount of information from the remains of hybrids, there should be no controversy surrounding the identity of the indigenous people, especially the Israelites and Mizraim descendants. How many indigenous black mummies are the workers of iniquity going to dig up to convince them that Mizraim Egypt is black? Also, the Israelites who dwell among Mizraim in the land of Ham are indigenous black people. The Israelite bloodline is the most coveted bloodline in history. The workers of iniquity would never reveal the truth about the indigenous black people. They will continue to suppress the truth to live by the identity of the indigenous people. And ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. The B system can depict a vivid image of the Neanderthals. Somehow they do not know where the northern kingdom of Israelites are today. They cannot confirm Mizraim descendants are indigenous black people. The so-called hybrid human remains they are finding all over Eurasia belong to the seed of the fallen. By now you should know the watchers that sinned, infiltrate the indigenous population and created an offspring of their own. The offspring of the watchers continue to evolve over the years. The beast system spent years conspiring to keep the origin of the seed of the fallen a mystery. Instead of revealing the truth, they disguised the seed of the serpent to better assimilate the watcher's children into the human culture. The barbaric ways of the seed of the fallen expose who they are. The book of Enoch informs us that during the time of Jared, the watchers sealed their plans by taking an oath on Mount Hermon. And they all answered him and said, Let us all swear an oath, and all bind ourselves by mutual imprecations not to abandon this plan, but to do this thing. Then swear they all together and bound themselves by mutual imprecations upon it. And they were in all two hundred, who descend in the days of Jared on the summit of Mount Hermon. And they call it Mount Hermon because they had sworn and bound themselves by mutual imprecations upon it. The book of Enoch reveal during the time of Jared, the watchers sin with the daughters of men and the animals. The book of Genesis confirm Jared in the scriptures, as well as First Chronicles and the New Testaments in the book of Luke chapter 3 verse 37. There are many heathens and indigenous people who discredit the book of Enoch, simply because the seed of the fallen discredit the book. The scriptures briefly speak on Jared. The scriptures give an account of Jared's genealogy and how long he lived. 
Mahalalel was Jared's father. And Mahalalel lived sixty and five years and begat to Jared. Jared's son was Enoch. Enoch is the father to Methuselah. Methuselah is the father to Lamech. Lamech is the father to Noah. And Lamech lived an hundred eighty and two years and begat a son. And he called his name Noah, saying, This same shall comfort us concerning our work and toil of our hands because of the ground which the Lord hath cursed. The B system is trying to distort history despite of the truth being revealed in the scriptures. The workers of iniquity want the people to believe the Most High created multiple species of humans. When the workers of iniquity find the remains of the seed of the fallen, they quickly label these hybrids as our relatives. The Most High did not create the offspring of the Watchers. The offspring of the Watchers was created through lust. The beast system refers to every living human and non-human as homo sapiens. They believe Adam and Eve are the first humans. However, when it comes to the seed of the fallen, there are unknown creatures that mix with the first humans to create who we are today. The scriptures do not confirm their theology. The indigenous people that are made in the image of the Most High can trace their lineage back to Noah's sons and from Noah to Adam and Eve. The Bible revealed Noah is the son of Lamech, whose bloodline traced to Adam and Eve's son, Seth. Adam, Sheth, Enosh, Canaan, Mahalaleel, Jared, Enoch, Methuselah, Lamech, Noah, Shem, Ham, and Japheth. Israelites, it is important to know that Shem, Ham, and Japheth did not have children before the flood. The children born to Shem, Ham, and Japheth after the flood do not carry the seed of the fallen's DNA. Until this day, the indigenous people do not have the seed of the fallen's DNA. Shem, Ham, and Japheth children are pure indigenous people. Remember, the Most High cleansed the earth of everything. The only people after the flood were Noah's family and the animals that were in the ark. We can shut down the doctrine of Noah's sons are three different race. Noah's wife was his kindred. If Noah is black, then his wife was black. The scriptures reveal Shem did not have his first son until he was a hundred years old and two years after the flood. These are the generations of Shem. Shem was a hundred years old and begat Arthaxad two years after the flood. The Book of Jubilees revealed that Noah's sons can recognize the seed of the fallen. That is how they were able to complain to Noah about the living spirits in the flesh that tormented their children. Back then, the indigenous people knew who they were. There is a lot of confusion in this generation because the beast system has altered the scriptures and manipulated history. And in the third week of this jubilee, the unclean demons began to lead astray the children of the sons of Noah and to make to error and destroy them. And the sons of Noah came to Noah their father, and they told him concerning the demons which were leading astray and blinding and slaying his sons' sons. The scriptures confirm Noah, his wife, Noah's sons and their wives exit the ark as well as all the animals who were in the ark. The scriptures did not mention any children born to Shem, Ham, and Japheth before the flood or while in the ark. The Most High command Noah and his family to be fruitful and multiply to repopulate the earth. And God spake unto Noah, saying, Go forth of the ark, thou and thy wife, and thy sons, and thy sons' wives with thee. Bring forth with thee every living thing that is with thee of all flesh, both of fowl and of cattle, and of every creeping thing that creepeth upon the earth, that they may breed abundantly in the earth, and be fruitful and multiply upon the earth. And Noah went forth, and his sons and his wife, and his sons' wives with him, every beast, every creeping thing, and every fowl, and whatsoever creepeth upon the earth, after their kinds, went forth out of the ark. We can confirm that Noah and his family are indigenous people. When the Most High command Noah and his sons to be fruitful and repopulate the earth, indigenous black people repopulate the earth. 
There was no other people from other race. Remember, the beast system recognized race. The Most High go by bloodline. The seed of the fallen had to conquer land all over the world and breed into the indigenous dark population to increase their population. The serpent seed is not indigenous to any land on earth. That is why they had to conquer and colonize the nations all over the world. Eurasia is where Satan's seat. Therefore, the seed of the fallen will come from Eurasia, the land of the north. For thou hast said in thine heart, I will ascend into heaven. I will exalt my throne above the stars of God. I will sit also upon the mount of the congregation in the sides of the north. I will ascend above the heights of the clouds. I will be like the Most High. Most of the hybrids the workers of iniquity have found were discovered in Eurasia. Although Satan's seat in the land of the north and the seat of the fallen are found in the land of the north, Japheth and his descendants inherited the northern part of this world. Japheth indigenous black descendants still dwell in the land of the north. The beast system grouped Japheth indigenous black descendants with every other people this society considers black. This is the land which came forth for Japheth and his sons as the portion of his inheritance which he should possess for himself and his sons for their generations forever. Five great islands and a great land in the north, but it is cold, and the land of Ham is hot, and the land of Shem is neither hot nor cold, but it is a blended cold and heat. Presently, in every land on this earth, the face to every nation are the hybrids. The native indigenous people that dwell in those lands are overshadowed by the seed of the fallen. There is a lot of controversy about black people being from other parts of this world. The beast system convinced the masses that black people are indigenous to Africa only. That is false. The Most High gave the people he created in his image dominion over the earth. The earth belonged to the indigenous black people. God said, Let us make man in our image, after our likeness, and let them have dominion over the fish of the sea, and over the fowl of the air, and over the cattle, and over all the earth, and over every creeping thing that creepeth upon the earth. Black indigenous people own this earth. The Most High distributed the earth to Noah's three sons. Ham inherited the part of this world where it is hot. Ham's land is the south. Shem inherited the middle of the earth. Shem's land is neither cold or hot. Japheth inherited the northern part of this world, and his land is cold. Before Shem, Ham, and Japheth's children begin to migrate to different parts of this world to claim their inheritance, the Most High scattered the indigenous people during the time of Babel. The scriptures give us an account when the indigenous people stand united to build a tower that would reach heaven. Nimrod, the son of Cush, the son of Ham, was the mighty man in power. And Cush begat Nimrod. He began to be a mighty one in the earth. Israelites, it is extremely important to not allow the seed of the fallen and the workers of iniquity tell your story. If you allow the beast system to be your mouthpiece, they will steal your identity and everything that belongs to you. It is 2021 and the Most High have to teach his people who they are because the beast system has distorted everything. The workers of iniquity would portray Nimrod to be a blonde hair, blue eyes, white male, just as they portray Yahshua in their image. The beast system recognized Ham to be the progenitor of the so-called black race. Although the scripture said Nimrod is a descendant of Ham, the workers of iniquity have no problem depicting Nimrod in their image. They have been doing this for multiple generations. They are still naming and claiming everything in this world to validate their existence until this day. This is why I have to make videos like this to remind the indigenous people of who they are. Nimrod was the first mighty man on earth. He was a mighty hunter before the Lord. Wherefore it is said, even as Nimrod, the mighty hunter before the Lord. 
and the beginning of his kingdom was Babel, and Erek, and Akkad, and Kalneh in the land of Shinar. During Nimrod's generation, the indigenous people spoke one language. Because they were on one accord to build a tower, by the way, the Tower of Babel would be equivalent to a skyscraper and high-rise towers today. Many people buy high-rise condos and apartments for the view. Little do they know these towers are a replica of the idea of the Tower of Babel. Many of those towers have collapsed, just like the Tower of Babel was destroyed. Structural engineering is always the problem with high-rise buildings and towers. The Most High has a way of reminding mankind of who he is. And they said, Go to, let us build us a city and a tower, whose top may reach unto heaven. And let us make us a name, lest we be scattered abroad upon the face of the whole earth. Israelites and indigenous black people all over the world, be careful when it comes to skyscrapers and high-rise buildings constructed by the heathens. There are a lot of symbolism in the beast system. You must open your spiritual eyes to see. What the people set their mind to do during the time of Babel failed. The workers of iniquity tried to fulfill the failed mission by disguising skyscrapers and high-rise towers as advanced engineering and creativity. There is a purpose for everything under the sun. Remember that. The Most High decided to descend down to see for himself. After his observation, the Most High decided to confuse the language of the indigenous people to stop them from building the tower. And the Lord came down to see the city and the tower which the children of men builded. Go to, let us go down. And there confound their language that they may not understand one another's speech. The scriptures went on to reveal not only did the Most High confuse their language, he scattered the indigenous black people all over the world. So the Lord scattered them abroad from thence upon the face of all the earth, and they left off to build the city. Therefore is the name of it called Babel, because the Lord did there confound the language of all the earth, and from thence did the Lord scatter them abroad upon the face of all the earth. Everyone who spoke the same language went their separate ways. If you ever wonder how the indigenous people learned to speak many languages and were scattered all over the world, the Most High used the time of Babel to change their one language and spread the indigenous people all over the world. There is an estimated 2,000 different languages spoken in Africa. When the Most High decides to show his sovereignty, the works of his hands serve for many purposes. He used events like the Tower of Babel to display his power and judgment. Also, to end one era, to start a new era. The beast system wants to make it appear as if the people they label Black Africans only originate in Africa. That is false. The indigenous people roots are in Africa. However, the Most High scattered his people all over the world during the time of Babel. Sham, Ham, and Japheth descendants were scattered all over the world. That is how the colonizers are able to find indigenous people living all over the world. The native people Christopher Columbus encountered in the Americas were indigenous black people. When the serpent seed came and planted its seed among the natives, a new species was born. But while men slept, his enemy came and sowed tares among the wheat and went his way. As the natives procreate with the seed of the fallen, their population began to decrease. The new species inherit the recessive genes that is unique to the seed of the fallen. Colored straight hair, pale skin, and colored eyes. Remember, Israelites, recessive genes can only give birth to recessive genes. As the serpent seed destroyed the natives to decrease their population with diseases that are unique to the serpent seed, Recently, the beast system confirmed Neanderthal genes are linked to coronavirus. The serpent seed attempt to bred out the indigenous people to gain control. The new species assumed the identity of the indigenous people. That is how the serpent seed became the default to all nations today. If the people the beast system claim are the native Indians that were dwelling in the Americas were truly the natives, when the native Indians first encountered the colonizers, they would not refer to them as the pale face.
the pale skin colored eyes and hair would be normal to the natives because the modern native Indians are just as pale as the colonizers. Because the native people in the America were indigenous black people, they refer to the invaders as the pale face. By the way, Christopher Columbus thought he was in India when he named the natives living in North, Central, and South America Indians. Another important aspect that confirmed the natives were dark indigenous black people, the Indians living on the continent of India are just as dark as black people. There is no way the pale-skinned people and the mixed population of today could represent the indigenous people that were scattered here during the time of Babel. Do not mistake the modern day natives, the beast system support for the native indigenous black people who still dwell in the Americas before the slave trade. Do not confuse the native indigenous people that were here with the indigenous people that were brought here during the transatlantic slave trade. The beast system has a way of combining multiple bloodline of indigenous people to support their narratives. The people that were brought to the Americas are the Israelites that went into exile for their rebellion. The Most High said his people, the Israelites, would be a few among the heathens. And the Lord shall scatter you among the nations, and ye shall be left few in number among the heathen, whither the Lord shall lead you. The Tower of Babel is not the only event that took place that caused the indigenous people to live all over the world. Migration is another aspect. When a bloodline and their possessions increase, they often travel to find land that could accommodate their possessions and growing family. Migration is nothing new for the indigenous black people. People are migrating until this day. The scriptures give us an account when Abraham and Lot had to separate because both Lot and Abraham were rich with possessions. And Lot also, which went with Abram, had flocks and herds and tents. And the land was not able to bear them, that they might dwell together, for their substance was great, so that they could not dwell together. And there was a strife between the herdmen of Abram's cattle and the herdmen of Lot's cattle. And the Canaanite and the Prizide dwelled then in the land. And Abram said unto Lot, Let there be no strife, I pray thee, between me and thee, and between my herdmen and thy herdmen. For we be brethren. Is not the whole land before thee? Separate thyself, I pray thee, from me. If thou wilt take the left hand, then I will go to the right. Or if thou depart to the right hand, then I will go to the left. Another reason the indigenous black people are found all over the world, they dwell in the land they inherited from their forefathers. Remember, Shem inherited the middle of the earth. Ham inherited the southern region of the world. Japheth inherited the northern regions of the world. Christopher Columbus did not discover any land. You can't discover land that is already inhabited by people. The scriptures confirm and history confirm how the indigenous people are dwelling all over the world. The Most High gave the indigenous people that are made in his image dominion. As they multiply, the indigenous black people spread all over the world, just as the Most High command them to do. And God blessed them, and God said unto them, be fruitful, and multiply, and replenish the earth, and subdue it, and have dominion over the fish of the sea, and over the fowl of the air, and over every living thing that moveth upon the earth. The Most High did not restrict his people from spreading all over the world. Yah encouraged it. The beast system is sowing a seed of division to better insert the seed of the fallen into a population of people who have the opposite appearance. The beast system had to find ways to insert the serpent seed into the equation. The seed of the fallen are invaders. When the watchers lusted after the daughters of men and sinned against the animals to bring forth the part human and part beast creatures, the watchers left their natural habitat to pollute the world. The Most High gave the people that are made in his image dominion. The seed of the fallen has no inheritance in the physical realm. The Most High made the indigenous people ruler over the works of his hands. Thou madest him to have dominion over the works of thy hands. Thou hast put all things under his feet. The serpent seed do not have any land inheritance. They had to travel the world to conquer the land from the indigenous dark people. The serpent seed used place of birth, not bloodline, to gain control. 
Once the kingdom of darkness successfully set up its dominion on earth, they changed the narrative and inserted themselves into history by claiming the indigenous people identity all over the world. The indigenous black people are living by the standards of the B system. Israelites, stop listening to the wisdom of this world. The earth belongs to the dark indigenous black people that are made in the image of the most high. Do not allow the serpent seed to make you feel uncomfortable in a world that was created for you. When I consider thy heavens, the work of thy fingers, the moon and the stars which thou hast ordained, what is man that thou art mindful of him, and the son of man that thou visitest him? For thou hast made him a little lower than the angels, and hast crowned him with glory and honor.